all right, we're making an automatic table of contents here in Word for Mac 2011. The first thing you need to do is use styles. To use a style, I select a heading and I come up to styles and choose, in this case, I'll choose a heading one. I've got a subheading here, so I'm going to call that a heading two. I've got another subheading, so that's a heading two. And then this is my second major heading, and I would call this a heading one again, right? So we've got two different styles of headings, like a top level and then a subset underneath. All right, once I've done that, I can get my cursor up here above everything I've already written. And I can go to Document Elements. And in this Table of Contents area right here, I choose one of these five. I don't know why they give you five. I don't know why they give you automatic and manual when the truth is you really want automatic. So I'm going to pick one of these. I'm going to pick Classic bang there it is and you'll see that it used the styles that I chose before to go ahead and put everything into a table of contents and let's say I keep writing so I'm down here here's my third heading I'm gonna give it a style so I'm gonna need to get back to home where I can access my styles I click on this third heading I give it a heading one let's say I keep writing Here's my fourth heading, I, again it's a heading one, and here again I keep writing, there's more headings, right? So when I come back up here, you'll look in my table of contents and it has not updated, which is interesting since it's supposed to be automatic, but when I click on it here, I get a little drop down menu that allows me to update the table of contents, and so I click on update table, it's going to ask me do you want to update the page numbers only or update the entire table? I'm all about updating the entire table. I click OK and you can see that it updates based on the changes that I've made as long as I'm using these styles here. You'll notice that you've got the page numbers here and if you went back and started writing more and more and more here in the first heading stuff and it pushed everything, you could again come up here hit update table and get all of those page numbers to be accurate. The last thing you'll want to do as you get ready to publish your paper is you'll want to get the table of contents on its own page. You'll see here it's just here above my first heading but if I click beneath the table of contents I want to add a page break. To add a page break I need to come up here to document elements, click on that, go over here to insert page breaks, right? And I'm going to choose insert break page and what that does is it says the table of contents should sit by itself on its own page and then bump everything else down to the next page. And there you have it, an automatic table of contents, Word, Mac, 2011. Hey, thanks for watching that video. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, give me a like, and also consider subscribing. If you hit the subscribe button, you're saying you want more of my content coming your way. Also, over here, I've got some videos lined up for you. So if you like the content you already saw, check out one of my other videos. Thanks for watching.